Todd with the Reason Files. Over the past month since the Red Hot Preaching Conference uh, attacks have been up and brutal. We're going to play a clip here from uh, Michael Johnson. We did reach out to him and uh, he did not return my call. Let's take a listen. But there's an unrighteous fierceness that is the attribute of, of these reprobates here, these dangerous people in the last days. But guess what? Let me just tell you something. Guess what? There's a lot of people out there who are promoting, like we're talking, you know, reprobate type stuff. Listen, you know, you know what has a real fierce attitude about it? Rap music. It's fierce. And you know what? There's a rap culture. There's a thug culture. There's a, a gangster culture. And you know what? I've seen it. I've seen it in the pulpit of Baptist churches. I heard some preachers bragging about the West Coast being the best coast and all this. And they, they do these like thug podcasts where they sit around. And, you know, I heard, I heard a Baptist pastor get up and say, you know, we're going we're gonna to do a podcast and he's sitting around with all these little thug, thug punks sitting around a table doing a podcast. And he says, oh, we're gonna, we decided to do this podcast and do it just like we do after church. Get the men of the church and we'll just jive and talk and everything like we do after church. And you know what he said? He said, I told, I told the men we can't do the F-bombs though like we normally do after church. So, are you kidding me? Where are people's calls for alarm? Where is their discernment? Dropping the F-bomb, okay. This is the fruit of Steven Anderson. Go ahead, Bruce, take it away. Old Patrick Boyle is doing the same thing. He literally, after this whole ordeal, gets up and says, hey, get off of YouTube, and so, or get off of social media. And then he uses social media to put that clip. The fine irony. Why, because he doesn't want anyone to hear about him being exposed, that's why. It's nonsense. I don't hate the guy, I just don't like him. The reason I don't like him is because why are you friends with a wicked person? I don't want to be friends with any wicked person. I don't want to I don't want people to wonder, man, is Pastor Mejia cool with like Michael Johnson? Like, are you guys like friends? Do you have him pray after your service? You know, I never want people to question that. Because I want nothing to do with wicked people. I want people to know that I hate those people. Yeah. And mark it down, I hate Michael Johnson. I don't think, Michael Johnson's an unsaved, wicked reprobate. That's what he is. Okay, there you have it. Uh, the Reason Files is going to give uh, Pastor Johnson here the last word. And he didn't, he wasn't laughing, it wasn't a joke. Right. And then you watch this thing and he just has no shame. He begins to he puts up a video at the end and of, of two men with their shirts off doing inappropriate things on a Lady Gaga video. And, you know, it thinks it's OK. And look, I'm telling you, these guys, they, they emulate thug, punk, rap culture. And then, listen, this same preacher, Bruce Mejia, gets up in a sermon at the Red Hot Preaching Conference, more like the lukewarm preaching conference. And you know what he says? He, he's talking about one pastor. He says, well, you know, uh, I was talking to Pastor Jimenez before the service, and he said, you know, these pastors out there didn't shut down. You know, their churches, well, they were so small that nobody even noticed they didn't shut down. Ha, ha, ha. And he, you know what he said about that, that jab at churches like ours or whatever, like smaller churches, because he's a big shot, hot shot, you know, you know, bad dude pastor. What, you know what he, you know what, you know what he, what he said, and Mejia said, he said, savage, yeah, savage, he said that in a sermon. That was savage. Woo! Yeah, you know what that's... I mean, really? Pastors are savage in their pulpit? Fierce! Hey, you know where that comes from? It comes from thug rap culture that's reprobate music. Amen. You're watching reprobates and you're taking on reprobate attributes. Right. 
Uh, Pastor Johnson goes on to say more about how they were picking on Tim DeLalo uh, in Ohio. That's Jeff Futzler's pastor. Or maybe I should say former pastor. I know someone did inquire about Jeff uh, in the comment section, and uh, Reason Files has not heard from him. Reason Files out. 